It is now time for the 30-man Royal Rumble match as Cody Rhodes defends the World Hardcore Championship against 29 other men. It looks like one of those men drew number one and he's looking to put everyone else in this monumental match down in eight town. Introducing entry number one. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Austin Theory accompanied by his mentor, the hardcore legend Mick Foley, who believes Theory has the potential to be the next hardcore legend. And Austin has gone through quite the training process so far. We've seen a complete shift in his attitude. No more selfies. Almost as if he's been humbled by this training. And honestly, this is a very important night for Austin Theory and McFoley. Through the whole trial and tribulation that he has suffered to get this far, it's now time to see whether all of that training has paid off. He's been learning how to withstand pain. He's been learning not to fear anybody. And now he must start the Royal Rumble at number one. Who's gonna kick things off with Austin Theory? Oh, well, there's your answer. I'd say my prayers if I was Austin Theory right now because it's Joker John Moxley. Introducing entry number two. From Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing at 225 pounds, the Joker, John Moxley. Things just keep getting worse for Austin Theory. Entering number one and having to start off the rumble with Joker John Moxley, the most violent, dangerous man in WSC history. How could it get any worse than that? But this does create an interesting matchup, the current and future of WSC. Oh, Here we go. Moxley going right after the throat, the jugular of Austin Theory. Oh. And if you remember, after the No Mercy match between Roman Reigns and John Moxley, Austin Theory made a mockery of Moxley as he was getting stretchered out the building. Oh. Austin Theory desperately hanging on here. He's in for the fight of his life against the dark side of John Moxley's psyche, the Joker. With the rear naked choke applied, trying to eliminate Theory, but Theory fights back. Austin Theory's fighting for his life here, and this is only entrant number two. And now he rebounds with the King Kong Lariat. John Moxley, the greatest WSC hardcore champion of all time. And when he's in his Joker mindset, there's no stopping him. He's so dangerous. And Austin Theory has been training so hard, trying to get on the level that John Moxley is on now. Mick Foley believes that he can get there. And you know, John Moxley represents everything that Mick Foley wants for Austin Theory. Just a way darker version of it, as now Theory has lost his grip with his one hand. He's only using one hand to keep himself in the match. And now Moxley, oh, he's going after the toys. It's time to play, Austin. It's time to get hardcore, and here comes Austin Theory with the kendo stick! But he did nothing! He just ate that kendo stick shot for lunch, and he's about to give Austin Theory his just desserts! What a headbutt to the nose! And now, oh my god, the trash can lid crashing against the skull of Theory! And he's just eating every single shot that John Moxley has given to him! And now... Oh, wait, what the... What? Okay! Oh, okay! I think something just woke up in Austin Theory! Could this be the awakening of the hardcore, the future hardcore champion that Mick Foley saw in him? And now these two are ramming each other like a pair of goats! Austin Theory came up late tonight! Who's gonna be number three? Oh, God! The man who threw Theory through a damn wall! is now about to try and throw him out the ring as Moxley's trying to get back in this in this matchup, but I don't think either of these guys stand a chance against this giant that approaches the ring. The seven foot tall Nigerian giant at number three. Can you believe it? Who's gonna stop this guy? Oh, 
Oh my god, he might just make it all the way to be real with you. This is his in-ring debut, and he is showing up and showing out all right. But look at Theory, showing that he is not afraid of Omasa. But that's going to be proven detrimental to his career, as Moxley's trying to fight back as well. But he gets caught by the giant double-handed choke slam to the Joker. My god, like getting thrown off the side of a building. And now look at this. Austin Theory hoisted up high. Oh, he gets out. Oh my god! What a shot he, he stunned him! He stunned him! He stunned him! What oh the my hell? God. Oh my god! Body slam! The power of Austin Theory! The body slam! Heard around the world as Moxley comes from the top! Omos is in deep trouble! And Austin did it! This is huge! Austin conquered his fear and eliminated Amos. If I'm Mick Foley, I'm smiling ear to ear right now, but it's not over as we wait for our next entry. Who could it be? Oh, the King of Bros has arrived. The original bro, Matt Riddle, former WSC Hardcore Champion in his own right. And don't be fooled by the cool, laid-back demeanor of Riddle. When he gets in that ring, he is as dangerous as they come. Mixed martial arts background, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them. Yeah, just ask Brock Lesnar, who got knocked unconscious in 30 seconds when it came to their championship match. Who knows how long ago? Matt Riddle was actually a victim of losing his championship in a hardcore Royal Rumble back in 2020. Will the same fate happen to Trash Cody Rhodes? To the back of Riddle and Theory. Moxley knows when to pull out the weapons when needed. But no! Oh, what a suplex by Riddle! Takes down John Moxley. And now Theory trying to get rid of Riddle as quickly as he can. Oh yeah! He's back! The Prince, Finn Balor, has returned to WSC. The last time we saw this man was in a qualifier against Edge. And now, he's looking to make this match his own. Man, when I grow up, I want abs like Finn Balor. This dude shredded, returning in great shape, and going off the Moxley with a drop kick. And now, Sling Blade. And much like Matt Riddle, Finn Balor also lost his Hardcore Championship in the past in a Hardcore Royal Rumble match. Finn Balor's looking to revitalize his career here, and he's going to have to go through everyone else in this matchup to do it. But if anyone could do it, I'd say it's Finn Balor. Oh, huge Pele kick to the top of the noggin of Austin Theory as Joker John Moxley is looking to take out Riddle. But now who's going to be next in this Hardcore Royal Rumble match? Oh, we're about to be in the presence of a rock star, one of the greatest of all time, Chris Jericho. Le Champion, the wizard. He's here and he's got his magic wand, if you know what I'm saying. He's got a bat in hand that he names Floyd, and it's all legal in the hardcore Royal Rumble match. And in Jericho's illustrious career, he has never won championship gold in WSC. And oh, Riddle almost eliminated. Oh. And now, Jericho putting that bat to good use. Oh, wait, that was not an elimination. That was not an elimination. He went through the middle rope. And uh, I think Mox took that personally. Oh, triangle drop kick to Riddle, but he still hangs on. Oh, I was right. Mox took that very personal. And you do not want to get into a bat battle with the Joker, John Moxley. Jericho not known to back down, and here we go. Oh, he caught Floyd. He caught the bat. Oh, and now Jericho oh. tries to do the same, but uh, Chris, oh. I think you... No, he forgot that was Tom Dunn. He oh, thought he was he slick. those were barbed wire on the bat. And he now thought he was cool for a second. To give him a rude awakening here by grinding the barbed wire against the skull of Le Champion. Now blood has been spilled in the hardcore Royal Rumble. Oh! oh. Caught and eliminated Riddle. Brutal. Thanks for coming, Riddle. But now I do believe it's fight night! Get ready for a banger. Sheamus, one of the toughest, hardest hitting in all of wrestling today. Take it out, everybody! So far, Sheamus is the biggest man in this ring as of now. And he's proven it as he ducks that Judas effect and hits the pump knee onto the face of Jericho. And now Jericho's in for some more torture. This man just can't catch a break! Oh, 
Oh, man, I would not want to be Chris Jericho right now, but here comes John Moxley trying to eliminate the big man. But Shane is still fighting back here, and oh, look, it looks like it's your best buddy. Yeah, we have a lot of history here in WSC, a lot of bad memories for me, honestly, but he's a two-time hardcore champion, former Mr. Money in the Bank, looks to add Royal Rumble winner to the list. Owens is all about fight, Owens fight, but will it be win, Owens win here tonight as he lands oh. that pop-up powerbomb to Theory? Oh. Stunner! Finn Balor's down, the only people left are Sheamus and Joker John Moxley. Wait a minute, I forgot about Chris Jericho. These two have some history as well. Former best friends back in the day, but now it's all about the WSC World Hardcore Championship. Who's gonna win the Royal Rumble? We await number nine. Jericho bleeds as we wait for the next entrant here. John Moxley still fighting in this matchup, and look, it's the most controversial figure in professional wrestling today. My enemies just keep on coming. CM Punk, the winner of the last Hardcore Royal Rumble match where he won his first Hardcore Championship and now looks to do it again here. Oh, big roundhouse, Austin Theory. Now he's going after Finn Balor, laying out those chops, those elbows, everything but the kitchen sink onto oh, the oh, wait a minute. Prince. Oh my God. One foot is touching. Finn Balor oh, saves he's himself. Not eliminated just yet, but CM Punk trying to fix that. You have to be thrown over the top rope, both feet touching the floor. Oh, oh, vintage Punk with the knee lift. Right to the nose of Theory. And you know what, I gotta hand it to Theory. Even though I think he's he, he does some questionable things here and there, he's had a hell of a performance thus far. He's been here since number one, man. Indeed, Mick Foley has to be happy with the training. And look at this, Chris Jericho almost eliminated. And number 10 is Alistair Black. And this man has gone through so much in WSC, but he is a former Grand Slam champion here in WSC. He's pretty much done it all. A former cripple as well as he's rocking those prosthetic fingers to the core as he hits Finn Balor with that wicked knee. But now Joker John Moxley going right after Alistair oh. Black. Oh, the Black Bass, and oh my God, that could have been it for Joker John Moxley had he not hung on to the top rope. And now Sheamus looking to get rid of the threat that is Aleister Black. He is a deadly man. Number 11, the underdog from the underground. It's Sami Zayn. It looks like Kevin Owens has got some backup here. Look how excited Sami Zayn is to be a part of this hardcore Royal Rumble. Zayn going to help out his best friend Kevin Owens with an exploder suplex to Jericho. Beautifully done by Sami Zayn as now, oh. he's sickening. Stunner! Chris Jericho with that stunner, Halova kick, over goes Le Champion, and these two are actual best friends. You know it's all about the Number 12, it's Adam Cole, baby! Last time we saw this guy, he plummeted to his death. Honestly, I thought this guy was dead, but you know what? I'm kind of glad to see him, not gonna lie, but I know who isn't glad to see him. That man, Kevin Owens, the reason for his supposed death himself. Adam Cole with a score to settle with Kevin Owens. Former friends, partners in the undisputed era, trying to eliminate Owens here. And now Sammy coming to the aid. Back up in the form of Sami Zayn as he lays those shots to the face of Adam Cole. But Adam Cole, he's no slouch. He's been through the ringer time and time again. Sami Zayn's gonna be no different, but I can't say the same for this potential new entry here. Oh my God, uh, the, Nate, I think we gotta get the hell out of here because this man is an absolute menace, a monster among society. And I think Austin Theory is having PTSD flashback to WrestleMania. It's game over, man. Just, just jump out of the ring. Just get out of there. Just save yourself. I've been manhandled by Lesnar. You've been manhandled by Lesnar. Yeah, don't remind me. Theory knows what it's like. Uh, and now he's going to get some oh suplex my city. God, just right into it. Neck first onto the canvas. And Aleister Black trying to be a hero. Yeah, that's not going to work well when you're in the ring with this beast of a man, Brock Lesnar. God help everyone in this ring right now. 
Oh, oh, what's this? Wait a minute. Oh, oh my God! God! Double German suplex with a bird kick. kick! If anyone could take down Brock Lesnar right now, it's got to be Sheamus. Oh, but he got caught. Got caught. F5. Oh, no. Sheamus eliminated. That was their only chance. That was everyone's only chance to break down Brock Lesnar. But look at Adam Cole getting a little ballsy here. But that's going to be proven to his detriment here. Oh, my God. Dumped to the outside. Eliminated is Adam Cole. And now Brock. Like it was nothing. F5. F5 to Finn Balor. This is just this is just Monday to Brock. But now look at this. This is different. A lot of history here. We've seen John Moxley versus Brock Lesnar, but we've never seen the Joker versus Brock Lesnar. Well, honestly, I think Brock is a little amused by the face paint of this clown. You know, Brock's words, not mine, but look who's crashing the party. No, oh, it's a scumbag, Logan Paul. And I'm glad that he's coming in right now with Joker John Moxley and Brock Lesnar in there. I hope they tear him apart. I yeah, wish I, I was in there too. to yeah, kick he, his ass yeah, for what he, he did to me. You, he saved that mullet off your head. But to be honest, bro, I think it was about time. I think the mullet has outlived its usefulness, to be real with you. I mean, I agree with you, Logan Paul is a piece of crap. But, you know, I, I feel like he did you a favor, to be real. It's not necessarily about the hair. It's about the disrespect. Can you imagine someone oh, doing that to you? you. It's you terrible. Know, I feel, I oh, oh God, yeah! No. <laughs> Get him! Lord have mercy! Beat his Logan ass! Paul got was, was coming to him! And there's Jeff the Ryder! Right right yeah! Jumping John Moxley! And Let's go! Like the punishment's not over! Right yes. into the F5! Get him, Brock! Five. Oh That's what I'm talking about. You, know, you love to see it. Yep. That was beautiful. Absolutely. You know what? I'd love to see another, but you know, Joker John Moxley had other plans. Alistair Black fighting for his life. And now here comes a legend in the making, or one that's already been made, the rated R superstar, Edge. Number 15, we're halfway through. The two-time hardcore champion, the OG MWSC, it's Edge. Looking to bring the rated R to this hardcore Royal Rumble. And if anyone's gonna do it, I got my money set on this man right here. Spear! Oh! Spirit of Finn Balor! Oh, get him! Eliminated! Eliminated! Oh, but he hangs on to your despair! Spear! Spirit of CM Punk as well! Oh, here comes Alistair Black. These two with a bit of history. Alistair Black was forced to take out Edge a few years ago. Springboard. Oh, oh Spear! Spear! Wow! How mid did he do that? Caught him midair with the spear. And there goes Alistair Black. Thanks for coming. Now Logan Paul trying to do something once again. Honestly, I feel like Logan Paul should just eliminate himself. After all the punishment he's been through, he's still trying to go headstrong. We're awaiting number 16 into this match. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's the phenomenal one. Mr. Money in the Bank himself, AJ Styles. He's got that Money in the Bank contract, which he can cash in for up to one year that he won at WrestleMania. But what an opportunity it would be here tonight if he could win the Royal Rumble and then also have that briefcase he could challenge for another title. And look who's in the ring, CM Punk. The pain of this man's existence ever since AJ Styles announced that he would be watching the hardcore uh, title division. CM Punk has had his eyes set on thwarting him at every turn. Whoa! AJ almost eliminated there. That was a close call. Oh, oh wait, Finn! Wait, 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 Finn! Finn Balor! Whoa. Almost eliminated CM Punk. Well, he's got no business in this, but oh! oh CM Punk's eliminated! A from AJ Styles eliminating CM Punk. And Finn Balor just inadvertently helped AJ Styles eliminate his current nemesis. I don't think it was inadvertent. I think, I think it was on purpose. These two have a history. Remember, Wait they were in the OC second. together. Could it be? Finn Balor and oh, AJ yeah. Styles have reformed Bullet Club here at WSC. And that's just too sweet. Well, we love to see it. Sweet is Logan Paul and Edge and everybody just going after each other's heads here. I think we're about to run out of room in this ring. Get him out, boys. Oh my! Wait a second! The animal, Batista, is 
back! Oh yeah, I love the Royal Rumble! Here he is! And this is what I call a legend! This man made my childhood, and I know damn well I'm not the only one who thinks that. But now he's here to make even more moments. Could he be WSC Hardcore Champion by the end of the night? The animal, a star around the world, and a beast of a man. And he's here for a fight. Oh, and he takes down Edge first things first. AJ Styles as well. Finn Balor trying to get something done. Spinebuster to Sami Zayn. Wait a minute. Kevin Owens trying to go for that stunner. Gets pushed off. And now Batista eliminates Kevin. I know you love to see that. Hello, the kick attempt there. And there goes Sami Zayn as well. Two Canadians down. And now there's a beast behind you, animal. You better turn around. One of the biggest dream matches you could think of that we've never seen. And we're about to see it right now. The animal on the attack of the beast, but he scoops him up. Wait a minute, he picks him up like this. F5. Oh, no! And just like that, the championship dreams are crushed for Batista. And everyone who wanted to see these two behemoths go at it. You know, to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed as well, but what can you do? Oh! Wait, wait a second! Look it's everybody's is. favorite! The Fat oh, yeah. Bastard himself, Fat Master! And look who is going to win him! The Thick six, Chicks the in the house! Just, I'm just sure. He likes some Thick Daddy. I'm ready to try to look at the Thick Chicks and not at this man right here because I think his loincloth is a little loose if you get what I'm just saying. Look who's in the ring. It's Brock Lesnar, the man who brutally oh, attacked oh Fat Boston backstage. He hates fat people. You put a, can we put a sensor on that, please? I can't bear to look at this. And now Brock is looking to end this charade once and for all. Oh, and he just oh, ran into a brick wall. Head. Come on, try again. That bastard oh! is way too big. Oh, the booty face full of us. The arms right to the face. And now I think I think some hairs were added Whoa! to the beard. What the hell? Where did he pull that from? His hairy ass, no doubt. Oh, is he going to do it? With hit him with it. Oh, he's going to hit him with the knob. And there it is. The lead one. Boston, what a great showing there, made such an impact, eliminating Lesnar, but it took everyone in the ring to eliminate him. Honestly, I think, I, 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 it was kind of motivated, to be honest with you. I think they just did not stand the smell of Fat Bastard, but look at this, Jay White making his in-ring debut at WSC, straight from New Japan Pro Wrestling, it's Switchblade! And look at the face of AJ Styles, he sure as hell recognizes him! One of the biggest free agents in all of wrestling finally makes it to the big stage of WSC! And a Bullet Club leader in his own right, as you can see, Finn Balor and AJ Styles in the ring! We're about to find out what Jay White is all about! I mean, well, let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got. Wait a minute. You're a Nagi to the Joker. And now he's going right after Edge. Legend after legend. He's just checking him off the list. Can you imagine the size of the ego that Jay will have if he whoa, wins whoa, in his first close. appearance? That was really close. And now look at this. Three Bullet Club leaders face to face to face in the middle of the ring. It looks like Jay White definitely knows who his favorite is. And now he's paying Whoa. the price for it. Whoa! Hanging on to dear life does Jay oh, wait White. A second. Wait, 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 wait. Finn eliminates AJ. Are you kidding me? You just reformed Bullet Club. What are you doing? But hey, if you remember in the 2020 Royal Rumble, AJ Styles eliminated Finn Balor. So I guess he got a bit of comeuppance here. Man, the holding on to grudges is, is Finn's cup of tea, no doubt. As we wait for our next entry, Logan Paul just added insult to injury to Edge. Austin Theory still in this match. Oh, yeah! Wow. That's my guy! Woo. Who's your best buddy? Seth freaking Rollins! 
one half of the WSC Hardcore Tag Team Champions, the Drip God himself. He's my pick to win the Royal Rumble. You already yeah. know, Danny. I mean, hey, man, you know, I'm not going to judge. As long as you're happy, I'm happy, dude. And I know who else is happy to be here. Seth Rollins, I see he's tuning up the band. The band singing loud and proud. Burn it down, baby. Let's go, Seth. Seth, if he wins this match, will be a three-time hardcore champion. It's hard to keep up with all his accomplishments. I mean, he's such a great mentor, such a good leader. And look at this, Logan Paul's in the ring. Yeah, get him, Seth. Get him. Yeah, oh, super kick. Get him for you. Boom. Seth gets forearm to the face of the match. Get him out. Oh, no, no. Whoa, wait a minute. Hang Seth on, Rollins Seth. hanging on by a thread there. Logan Paul lying in wait. Huge hand to the face of Oh, no! Hang on, Seth! Wait a minute! Logan Paul is doing his damage to keep Seth Rollins away! Shut up and you eat it! Alright? Seth's gonna stop your face into the mat. That's what's up. Now he's just laughing in your face and he's looking to land that one lucky punch. Oh! Not as Seth Rollins has anything to say about it! And now Rollins propping him up. Wait, what's he doing here? Stop! Oh, my God! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Logan Paul! what he deserves, no doubt, but whoa, look at this! Speaking of assholes, here's another one! Oh, so what are you talking about, that is? This is my friend MJF Maxwell. He's a great guy. Lovely guy. A great guy. Lovely. Have you, have you been living under a rock lately? You don't know who that is. I went to dinner okay, with him the other day, man. why people call him... No, no, listen. There's a pre there's reason why people call him the scum of the earth. There's a there, there's people calling him the freaking devil. And you want to sit here and talk about he's a good guy? He's Are so you crazy? He's sold to the earth. I mean, we went to dinner. We, had, we shared hors d'oeuvres. We had some oysters. He shared some great points on his view on life. He's a good guy. What can I say? Uh, well, I, uh, well, I'm glad I'm glad to know you're so easy to manipulate. But anyway, here comes Edge from behind, trying to eliminate Seth Rollins. Oh! Oh, Seth oh my God! Now look! Look! What more oh. proof do you need? I mean, it, it's legal. A unique strategy. I don't know if I agree with it. Unique strategy. That's just straight up being a dickhead. Seth, look at this here. Oh, I introduced right. these guys. These guys are buddies. They're gonna work together here. Okay. Yeah. Whatever you say. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah, Seth Whoa. Rollins is not a dummy, you okay? A dummy? He knows it's exactly what MJF's all about, but what a world! That plan backfired, no doubt, and now MJF is still in the ring. Oh, Rollins on, is still hanging Stop on, fighting. and now together. MJF, what's he thinking here? Hit oh, oh, oh my man. God, he landed it dead in center like a nail on a board. Uh, but, you know, those are your friends. Finally, the WSC World Hardcore Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. In the words of the late great John Cena, the champ is here. And he's, had, he's got a hell of a plate to deal with right now. I don't know about late great. I mean, Cena's still alive and kicking. But Cody Rhodes entering number 22. He's a prime position for the champion in such a match like this. Cody has done the unthinkable on many occasions in his hardcore championship reign. He won the championship in the most dangerous match in wrestling history. As the fans sing along to the champion song, it's time to nut up or shut up. It's time for Cody to prove once again that he is the true deserving champ. The look at Joker John Moxley. This is exactly what he's been waiting for this entire match to go face to face with the champ. And now, taking down Jay White, Austin Theory, all comers in front of them. When he gets to Joker, John Moxley, shit's about to get real. Cody Connor! Cody's on fire! He's ready to rumble! And remember, Joker ordered his Jokers to attack Cody and send him a message ahead of this match. It may have been a mistake. We got someone that's got that dog in him. Braun Breaker. In his words, you want a friend? Go get a dog. And we got one here right now. This man's a badass. 25 years old, he's got the speed, the power, the intensity. And he hasn't even scratched the surface of what he's capable of here. And we're gonna see what he's made of in this Royal Rumble. And honestly, this man's a prodigy. 
He's looking to prove that fact here tonight by becoming WSC Hardcore Champion. What an accolade to hold at such a young age. The champion with the target on his back, the switchblade looking for the Blade Runner, no! Cody now tosses him over the top rope, Jay White dangling! What a close call for Jay White, Slip Switchblade is about to get the disaster ticket, oh god! Onto the barbed wire board! Welcome to WSC, Jay! Oh, look at the back of Jay White into that barbed wire board! Oh man! And now Joker John Moxley trying to eliminate Cody Rhodes here. MJF and Braun Breaker, two young bucks in this Royal Rumble, trying to eliminate the veteran and Seth freaking Rollins. I'm still amazed at how Austin Theory is still in the matchup. Mick Foley has trained him quite well, if you ask me. But now here comes Kenny Twinkle Toes Omega. The best bout machine, Kenny Omega looking to win his first championship in WSC. Many say one of the best wrestlers in the world, and now he's looking for the right time to strike on that and show everybody why that is. Not to be an asshole or anything, but calling Kenny the best as a fan does not mean squat. The only way you can call yourself the best is by holding the greatest belt, and that's something that Kenny Omega has never done. Caught him with a top show right there. Oh, v oh my God, V-Trigger to the chin of Austin Theory. And now Kenny Omega is looking to end things early. Not so early for Theory, but pretty early for Kenny. Away from behind, Finn Balor. He's going to lay both of them. Over the rope. But now, look at this. Kenny Omega using the legs of Austin Theory as leverage to climb back up. What ingenuity from the best bout machine. Number 25 is on the way. Who's going to join the fray? Oh, man. The leader, the founder of the Yes Movement, the American Dragon, Daniel Bryan, is here to conquer. Another man that people would claim is the best wrestler in the world. Daniel Bryan, one of the most intense in that ring, one of the most technically sound. But this is WSC, you gotta be good at all aspects, even utilizing weapons in a hardcore environment. But can he do it here tonight in this Royal Rumble? Honestly, when Daniel Bryan gets going, it's hard to stop him. Just look at him doing what he does best, kicking the absolute piss against all comers here. You're not wrong about that. Everybody now trying to eliminate somebody and this ring is really filling up. There's not much real estate in that ring right now as we await number 26. Everyone's just as hungry as each other here, but now who's next? It looks like a cowboy's riding in to do some cowboy you know what. The anxious millennial cowboy, Hangman Adam Page, in his second hardcore rumble. You know. One member of the elite is also in there. One's got to wonder, are they going to work together? Or is this just going to be a case of every man for himself? I think they know what the deal is. They had a conversation where they said, may the best man win. And we're about to find out who that is. Buckshot oh. Lariat. Discus for him to Brian. And now, Ron Breaker trying to spoil the oh. fun. But still, Hangman Adam Page hangs on. And there goes his partner saving the day. Braun Breaker is in a precarious position. It's time to go night, night. Oh! Double team by the Elite, and there goes Breaker. Well, there went the dog for a walk there. Moxley now working on Seth Rollins in the corner. Moxley and Austin Theory have been in there for 32 minutes as Finn Balor working on the champion. Cody is struggling here. On the verge of elimination. You can only wonder who is going to walk out of here as champion. I can't even decide anymore. There's so many top tier talents in this ring right now, but here comes another one. And it's the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre who debuted in the 2021 Hardcore Royal Rumble match. And at number 27, he can be a very dangerous man in yeah, this match. Fresh as a daisy. Oh, Cody, Cody's gonna be eliminated! For everyone else in here, they're about to have a rude awakening via the Claymore! 
And there goes Finn Balor flinging to the outside. Wow, what a performance by Finn Balor. Oh, Glasgow kiss. You, know, you can talk about what a performance this, what a performance that, but at the end of the day, if you ask me, it doesn't mean Dilly squat if you don't win the damn match. MJF set halfway across the ring. As now Joker still working on Rollins. And Cody's exhausted. And it seems like Joker John Moxley is still holding that vendetta in. That fateful night where Roman Reigns turned his back on the shield. And so did Ro uh, Seth Rollins. Excuse me. I think Joker John Moxley took that to heart. And he's and he's expressing it right now by trying to eliminate. He's been doing it for the past 10 minutes, it feels. And it's time for the highlight of the night. The one and only Ricochet, who we last saw at WrestleMania. He was f 5 off the top of the Deadly Games after a very impressive performance in the main event of WrestleMania. And he's back for the Rumble. And he come out in one piece though. Wow, what a move by Ricochet. Always the human highlight reel. But here comes Brian to try and nullify this bullet. But now he checks the kick, ducks under the roundhouse, and there's the Enziguri by Ricochet. What an exchange there, but Ricochet got the better of it as Mox is still a hairs away from eliminating his former friend. Man, I wish I could go in there and help him. And here's Austin Theory trying to eliminate Ricochet. Austin Theory has been in there for 34 minutes. An incredible performance. Amazing, amazing performance. Mick Foley's gotta be proud. But at the end of the day, it only matters once you're the last one standing. And now, we wait for one more entrant here. Or another one, I should say. Number 29, the greatest mask of all time, Rey Mysterio. And you know, I got a feeling of who he's gonna go after as soon as he gets in that ring. Wait, who? Are you kidding me, dude? Right there, MJF! Why? He's going to take on him. Oh, man. Yeah, exactly. Like a father protecting his daughter's honor. Does that ring a bell to you? Wait a while. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking up about. Setting up for the 619, though, does Rey Mysterio dial it up, Six baby? Nine. Yeah, that's right. Get his bitch ass out of here. Watch your lane, he's got it. Over the oh, he's still holding on. Come on. Oh, yes. it's gone. Yes. Thank goodness gracious. Now get your ass back in the back. Wait a minute, what the heck? You're gone! Whoa, whoa, no! whoa! Come on! You got eliminated fair and square, Max! Hey, I, I don't could have done that. I mean, I, this is not something I would do. I, I gotta talk yeah, to him. About yeah, that. it's about time you start showing signs of a brain, Nate. You know, you're, you're my buddy, I love you, but come on now. You gotta be a better judge of character than that. I like to see the best in people, man. I, maybe maybe yeah, he was well, having now, a bad day. Oh, wait whoa, a second. Whoa. Drew! Drew hanging on by a thread, and now Kenny Omega signaling for one more V-Trigger. Is he going to eliminate Drew McIntyre with this clock? V-Trigger! Wait, he's still holding on? The strength of McIntyre, but it's not going to help him. As oh, Larian! There goes Drew McIntyre! By the and there goes Hangman! What? Kenny Omega eliminates his buddy! See, I knew it. I knew it was that case of every man for themselves. And you, you see it in Hangman Page's eyes. He knew what was coming. He can't blame Kenny. Indeed he did, and Rollins on the verge of elimination there. As we count down to the final entrant in the WSC Royal Rumble of 2023. Oh my! It's the Viper, Randy Orton, number 30. The legend killer is in the house now, boy. And what a way to do it at the last possible number in this Royal Rumble. At this point, he's got the best chance at becoming WSC Hardcore Champ. Randy Orton is a dangerous man, especially in this position. Oh, takes down Brian, takes down oh, Ricochet. KO! Oh my God. There goes Kenny Omega. And an RKO to Ricochet. And now he's going to throw him out the ring. And now going off to Theory. Looking for vintage Randy Orton. He's feeling it here. Spikes Great him. DDT. Oh, my. 
The history speaks for itself. Mentor versus student. That was a long time ago, and now things have changed. The student has become the champion, and the legend killer is looking to kill the legend before it becomes, well, a legend. And Cody getting the better of one here. Go for the Cody cutter. Wait a minute. No! Whoa, 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 Cody whoa, whoa, whoa. almost eliminated. That was so close for Cody. Boost psycho knee to the side of the head of Randy Orton. And now here oh! comes the King Kong Lariat from Joker John Moxley. And now the Joker looking to put an end to the American Dragon Death Rider. Spike and there goes center. Daniel Bryan. The dragon has been slain and here goes Randy Orton. Austin Theory, he's kind of considered a bit of a legend killer himself oh! as he kills the legend killer's legend. Wow, Austin Theory with a huge elimination. No! Oh! But just before he could celebrate, he gets a super kick right to the teeth. But Austin Theory is still in the match. Oh! Now Austin Theory looking for the rolling. Oh my god, a stomp! What a counter from Seth Rollins at the dreams of Austin Theory have been stomped as well. What an amazing showing from Austin Theory tonight. He did Mick Foley proud, unfortunately, couldn't get the job done. Paradigm shift! Seth Rollins back on his feet, but oh! No! Joker John Moxley finally gets his revenge for so long ago. Really? Cody from behind. Cody from behind. He almost eliminated Joker John Moxley. And we all knew it was going to come down to these two. Disaster kick. But it's not enough to take down the Joker. What does Cody Rhodes have to do? Oh, no. Barbed wire baseball back to the face. Wait. He ducks the second shot. Cody Cutter. Cody Cutter. Cody Rhodes gonna prove it! Crossroads! He's teeter tottering! Joker John Moxley is in a dangerous position! Oh, how he did it! He did it! Cody conquers the rumble! Here's your winner! And still, the WSC hardcore champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Cody Rhodes! has done it again, proving all the naysayers wrong as he draws blood from the head of Joker John Moxley, proving that WSC is indeed his kingdom. Cody Rhodes continues to defy the odds, do the unthinkable. Cody Rhodes is on top of the world, but he's got the biggest target on his back. Everyone's coming for that title. Can he still keep a hold of his kingdom?